Hello folks, welcome to our channel, Chano Jose. So today we're uh, gonna show you a little bit of what's happening or what's going on with our 66 charger. And we're gonna convert it from automatic to manual transmission. And we're gonna show you and give you an idea of what's happening and what we're doing. To convert our 66 touch charger from automatic transmission to manual transmission, we had to remove the transmission, which is a 727 torque flight out. It's bad transmission as well. So we took all the automatic components out and we can prep for a manual transmission to come in. We have to purchase the transmission, four speed, 18 spline, and this is the A833. That kit came with a clutch, dual plate clutch. We had to buy a flywheel, resurface it. You have the Hurst shifter uh, receiver. We have the bell housing for the four speed to go on the big block. It's not aluminum, the Z bar and the forks and the other components that go for the forks for the Z bar to be attached to the uh, bell housing. So we have to remove the driver's side seat to get the console out. We got the shifter completely out as well. So it's just a hump with a carpet on. We're gonna see what we need to do so we can put the console back in there we want to keep the console. We have to remove the brake pedal because it's wider. You can probably cut it and install just the clutch pedal, but it will look funky. We remove the brake pedal and we attach the uh, clutch pedal on the side. We got a new clutch the pedal with a plate on the side with a reinforcement plate from the engine towards the firewall but we haven't attached anything completely because we don't know what we have to do. From now, we got to install the transmission and all that. So this is what we've done so far, and we're in the process of painting some components before we install them so they don't rust quicker. So we have all the hardware, everything that is going to be used for this swap, the cross member back there, and all the hardware. So we're going to be using some of this stuff as we need it but it's back here so we don't lose it. So here we have a bunch of parts from the automatic linkage, cross member, starter, shifter. All this is gonna be, just the starter is gonna be reused. Everything else is gonna go in boxes and we're gonna put it away if we ever need it. Here's the torque converter. We're gonna wrap it like a newspaper and put it on a box and put it away. We had to drop the exhaust to get the transmission out and we don't have anything on it yet because everything that we have to put in there we have paint some stuff so we're waiting for those components to dry up so we can start putting stuff in and then uh everything starts falling in place so now out of all this the hardest part to do is we're going to be installing this this component is going to be in charge of uh keeping the c bar straight so when we press a pedal the clutch and everything in here works properly because this guy is going to be attached to the bell housing by another stud like this and this is going to be on this end but this guy here goes welded into the frame so this is going to be a challenge this is going to be the hardest part to do on this guy and we're going to show you where this goes so as we're looking at the front of the car on the driver's side right inside here that's where that component is welded on the other side of the oval circle. That's where it's going to be onto the frame right there. That's where it's going to be welded. We're going to put it on so you can see what we're talking about. So that's where it ends up welded into the chassis. Or we fabricate something that helps to avoid welding. But that's how it, so it has to be. Just about there. So this is going to be the hardest one to put in. And if this guy is not in there, this whole car will not work properly because that stud keeps the C-bar straight and, and secure. So everything, when you press the pedal, this guy will keep the C-bar doing his job. So the whole car will shift and all those components are going to work properly. Because if this guy is not in there, that stud is not in there, the C-bar will not work at all. You need this guy in there. Well, folks, we wanted to give you an update of what's going on with our V-Body and a 6667 Dodge Charger. 
from automatic to manual transmission. We had to take everything that is from automatic transmission out. We disconnected everything. Now we're in the process that we already start installing the pedals. And the hardest part of this is gonna be connecting the C-bar to this component that has to be welded on the chassis. And it's not there because our car came automatic and they never installed this component. So this is a support for a C-bar at the chassis, not at the transmission. So we're gonna fabricate it or weld this, but we'll see what route we have to go for this component. So for that, we're gonna have to install everything first. We're gonna have to install the flywheel, the clutch, the belt housing, all that stuff, that transmission, put it back on so everything's lined up. And then we're gonna have to see where this guy ends up so we can do fabrication or welding for this guy. So with that, when that comes, we'll show you a video of what we did. And uh, but this is just an update of what we're doing so far to convert this car from automatic to four-speed transmission. With that said, folks, and for our friends who are watching the video, have you subscribed to our channel? Please subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in our channel, El Chano Jose.